Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this short video, we're just going to take a look at a little tip to get waypoints into a handheld Garmin GPS device that you may own, but from using data taken from a UK postcode. So it could be you've been given a postcode to navigate to and you have a handheld device that doesn't have city navigator maps which are the Garmin map that would have postcode data in. We often get calls from customers who will own a product something like a Garmin eTrex 32X which is the GPS device I've got connected to Garmin's Basecamp software at the moment and they've seen in the GPS device an option called address search. That address search you will find in a lot of Garmin handheld devices but it will only work really when you're searching for a postcode if you'd purchase something called City Navigator Maps but it may be you've been given some postcodes to meet friends at the start of walk at it could be a visitor site that you're going to and you want to use your handheld device as you get nearer to the location just to help locate that you're in the correct location you could in your GPS device use the mark waypoint icon and then change that waypoint point to a grid reference of somewhere um, remotely from where you currently are but it can take a while to do it certainly in some of the smaller handheld devices we do have videos on our online training course that you get as part of your online support when you purchase a gps device from gpstraining.co.uk that show you how to do that function directly in the unit but this video is just to show you a quick way that you can do it from garmin's free base camp planning software that I've currently got open and also there's a website that we go on called gridreferencefinder.com so the first thing I'm going to do is type in a postcode into gridreferencefinder.com so this is in in GB I'm using a UK postcode it's for a visitor site at a place called Kielda in Northumberland so where it says postcode if I type in my UK postcode and click on the word go on grid reference finder I can see on the map in the screen it's showing me where this um, postcode is and if I scroll down the page it's actually telling me that it's Kielder Northumberland and it's got a grid reference a British national grid reference so where it says grid reference NY which is our sheet number on an Ordnance Survey map in Great Britain and the first five numbers are my Eastings and the second five numbers are my Northings so what I can do is simply copy and paste that grid reference at the bottom there rather than having to retype it in Basecamp software if I now go back to Basecamp software, which is a free software you can download from Garmin's website, Garmin Basecamp, I'm using it on a Windows computer today and I just want to make sure in my edit and options on Basecamp software that I've got mine set as British National Grid in the position system at the bottom. So I've got it set as British National Grid. I've already created a folder and a list file called Northumberland Waypoints. We cover this in a lot more technical detail on our online training course that you can either purchase from GPS Training under our courses section on our website. Or if you have purchased the device from GPS Training, you do get access to our online training course for a year where it's full of technical videos on using Garmin's Basecamp software and doing things like this brief video showing you now um, on how to create a folder um, to import waypoints into, etc so with this folder created in the my collection and a sheet of paper a list file called Northumberland waypoints I'm simply going to go to the menu along the top that says find locate coordinates and then I get this grid reference box come up of where the map is currently centered remember I've changed our system to British National Grid if I simply delete what's in that box where it says center at I'm just going to right click and paste the grid reference that I've just copied from grid reference finder I can then select recenter just to make sure the maps where I want it to be so I can zoom in and out on the map using the scroll wheel on my mouse I can see it's Kielda so it's close to the car park it's just the postcode that I've typed in that was taken off a website for the Kielda visitor center I've got the topoactive European Garmin map on the eTrex 32X. If you had an Ordnance Survey map on your unit, you could go to your Maps menu along the top in Basecamp and select your Ordnance Survey map. I've only got the topoactive European maps, which is the ones I've got selected. If I'm happy, this is the grid reference that I want to send to my GPS device as a grid reference, um, as a waypoint it'll actually go as. I'm going to select 
create waypoint now and you'll see in the bottom left hand window i've now got a blue flag with a waypoint i'm actually going to right click on there and rename it to something that makes more sense to me to when i send it to my gps device i'm just going to call it kielder cp for kielder car park i'm now ready to do a second one so i'm just going to give you an example and do one more so i'm going to go back to the website grid reference finder I can delete that one at the bottom there that I already had with the little dustbin symbol just to save any confusion and where it is postcode I'm going to type in a postcode for an actual national trust property called Cragside which is where we're based in Rothbury and Northumberland if I select on go you'll now see it's shown me an overview a satellite image of Cragside I recognize this is Cragside as it's local to where we are in Rothbury and Northumberland and then if I scroll down to the bottom of the page, it's got an Ordnance Survey grid reference in the very bottom left, the NU number. The first five numbers are the Eastings on my map and the second five numbers are the Northings. The NU is the, actually the blue lettering you'd see in the top corner of, if you had your Ordnance Survey map for Cragside. And we can see it's actually got the address Cragside Visitor Centre. So if I simply copy and paste this grid reference here and go back to... Um, Basecamp software. If I'd accidentally closed the locate coordinates box down, I can simply go find locate coordinates again. Just delete what's shown on the screen where it says center at, paste the new grid reference, and simply select recenter. The map is now recentered on Cragside, which is near Rothbury, where we're based in Northumberland. If I'm happy with that one, to save it in the same folder, I just make sure in the top left of the screen I've got my eTrex 32x waypoint folder that I've already created and my list file called Northumberland Waypoints highlighted. That's where it'll be saved. And then I simply select create waypoint at and now in the bottom left hand window it's created the little flag waypoint as the grid reference name so I'm just going to right click on that blue flag in the bottom left hand window as I did before select rename and I'm going to call this Cragside CP for Cragside car park so you just repeat the process but it's a lot quicker than doing it directly on your unit just going to close the locate coordinates box down if i now want to send those two waypoints to my etrex 32x or whichever compatible gps device you've got connected to basecamp software on a computer using a usb cable i'm simply going to right click on the list file that i've got named northumberland waypoints select the option send to and then find internal storage folder underneath my etrex 32x and select OK. And then what will happen is that will now be sent to my internal storage. So on my devices tab that I can see in the top left hand window, etrex 32x internal storage, I can now see anything I've got on my GPS device. And we can see there we've got Cragside CP and Kielda CP. So now if I unplug my GPS device and use the where to icon on some devices, you'll have a little magnifying glass where to icon and select waypoints. I will have Cragside and Kielda on my device and I'll be able to say go and then it will navigate me depending on the routing setting you've got on your GPS, either as a direct line or you may be using your GPS in the tour cycle mode. So if you were a cyclist, it will then navigate using roads and the cycle profile. We have loads more videos that will go into a lot more technical detail and show you setting up Basecamp software for the first time, creating the folders and list files that I'd already created and, and doing things like what we've done today using Basecamp software and a handheld device. So going onto our website, GPS training, .co.uk you'll find under the support options where you can purchase a support package from us and um, which includes either email and telephone support or just the online training course that has all the videos in it if you do purchase a unit from us you get that support telephone and email support and the online training course with all the videos that go into a lot more technical detail on using your gps device or the base cam software free for a year but we hope you found this video useful on utilizing the gridreferencefinder.co.uk website to create a waypoint um, grid reference from a postcode and then importing that um, editing sorry and adding that grid reference into Garmin's Basecamp software to then send to our compatible GPS device and thanks for watching.